Oleg Cizdin is a paratrooper in the 80th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. He has been defending Ukraine since 2014, during which time he has already received 70 wounds. He recalls when he returned to the rotation, it was difficult to adapt to society after the realities of the war. Now he wants to help his comrades with his own experience. To do this, he applied to become a veteran's assistant at the new Veteran Development Center. I remember the year of 2014 when I came from the combat zone to Lviv. There is one environment of war and a completely different one here. These are two different things. When I returned to civilian life, I panicked. I forgot what road I had. There were no such centers, no one helped me. I overcame my problems by myself and everything was not good. Everything was bad, I had PTSD. Veteran of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Viktor Deineka, has also applied to the Veteran Development Center. The man was wounded on February the 22nd in the Donbass. Now he has prosthesis in both legs. He says that he knows perfectly well what people like him have to face. Viktor was adapting to society for more than a year by himself. He's sure that at this center he will be able to share his experience and help those who need it. This is important because, first of all, it will relieve the government authorities. It will provide assistance to guys like me with limited mobility. Veterans who have served in the armed forces of Ukraine and lost their jobs need to find a job. And with people like me, they will be more frank. It will be easier for them to talk to me. The Veterans Center will help the military with employment as well as with education and rehabilitation. In addition, they can provide legal and psychological assistance there. Already 65 former servicemen have applied for the position of veterans assistant. First priority, those people who went through the war expressed a desire to help their comrades. They should join this project. At the time of the start of a large-scale Russian invasion, there were about half a million veterans in the Department of Veterans Affairs. Our projected number after the victory, somewhere around 4 million or even more Ukrainians will potentially need help and rehabilitation. Veteran development centers are already operating in Vinnytsia and Dnipro, and in the near future one will be open in Mykolaiv as well. In total, they plan to attract 400 assistants to veterans to work in them. It is the socialization of military personnel that is important because they need to return to civilian life. They need to adapt in you because everyone perceives everything differently. Everyone has their own psychological state that affects him. They need help with this. All veterans' assistants will receive special education and training to provide qualified support to those who will need rehabilitation and support. They plan to begin training in August, but now everyone can apply for this position. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Yulia Bil, Vadim Dmitriev, UATV News.